Hello, welcome to The Brain Scrub, a somewhat improvised approach to mental health. My name is Glenn Sollers. Thanks for tuning in. And today I'm reminded of a song. Remember the song? I ran, I ran so far away. And I ran. And that song may not be familiar for you, and that's fine, but it really highlights the topic for today, and that is emotions. And I've spoken a lot about emotions in past episodes. However, today I was inspired to speak of it again through a connection that I made in the forest, because I learn a lot from nature, and being in natural surroundings really opens up my mind, opens up my heart, and leads me to reflection creativity. One of the gifts that we have is our nature and our natural surroundings and to learn from those surroundings. And today I was looking at a tree and it was an Arbutus tree. And as I was looking at the Arbutus tree, which was standing so still, the leaves still growing despite the lack of rainfall, the leaves sprouting up in the right direction, like they were healthy. And I thought about it And thought, you know what? Trees have no way of predicting the weather. They don't watch the news. They don't know when the next rainfall will be. In fact, nature is like that in many respects. Animals don't have the internet. They don't have Facebook. They don't have the weather network. They can't predict. They can't necessarily control things. It just happens. And wouldn't it be nice sometimes just to be the tree? not knowing what's going to happen, not knowing what's going on around us, just being there and dealing with what comes. Because anxiety is caused by worry. It's caused by fear. It's caused by not knowing. And then our brain makes up stuff that may or may not be true versus just being this tree that just has to deal with stuff. Whatever happens, it adapts. Maybe it will die. Maybe it will thrive. But it's beyond its control. Human beings are very complex, and we've, in fact, made our lives more complex through trying to be tuned into everybody, understanding what's going on in different parts of the world, monitoring the stock market. We are living in the future, essentially. What's going to happen tomorrow? Or what are they doing now, these folks on Facebook or Twitter or whatever it might be? And how is that going to impact my life? So there's all these compare and contrast things that are going on. But essentially, we have become so distracted in our world that many of us find it hard to just be. Just sit down. Grab a chair. Do absolutely nothing. Hmm. Trees do it constantly. (laughs) Of course, they're definitely not as complex as human beings. But we need to take that time sometimes, especially if we struggle with connecting with our emotions. And we all know that emotions can build up if we don't deal with them, if we don't acknowledge them, which can lead to many negative consequences. Almost every week, and I'm getting better at this now, there was a time that I was taken off and I wasn't joining my men's group. And my men's group is a group of men that have all been through the same program, which was the Mankind Project New Warrior Training Adventure Weekend, which was a weekend that happened for me about 16 years ago. One of the greatest gifts I ever received was the gift of self-awareness and the gift of having these men in my life. Every week... The intention is we sit in circle on a Zoom call and we're there to be. We're there to be present with each other. And yesterday was such a great reminder for me about the importance of having that in our lives, having people that we can not just do things with, but just be with and talk about what's going on inside. What might be our struggles? What are some opportunities? What are we feeling? So we can process through emotions. And the gift in this circle is it's a safe space to do so. 
It's a safe space for me to be me, for me to be 100% in the moment, present with what's going on in respect to my emotions, in respect to my life, in respect to what's going on with work, my wife, whatever it might be, so that I can share and get support that I need at times to deal with stuff. And listening to men actually be there in the moment, sharing and tapping into what emotionally is going on for them. They're being real. But we've learned to run away from stuff at a young age. Go to your room. Don't be angry. Don't do this. Do that. Figure it out on your own. We've learned to run. We've learned to run away. And then somebody says stop. Or we try to run over some hurdles in our life and we trip and fall because we just don't know how to deal with it. Maybe it's something like, I don't know what I want to do in my career. Or I'm unhappy in my relationship. I want a divorce, but I'm too afraid to do it. And we distract ourselves to get away from it. We could distract ourselves with social media, with TV, with just doing, 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 shopping, all these things are distractions. And for us to just stop, like I do in my men's circle, is the greatest gift beyond actually doing this weekend that I did with them way back when. To have that network of people that I can just be me with, and I can work through stuff. And the beauty of it is that we allow each other to sit with our emotions, not to run away from it, not to get into like tears and then all of a sudden stop and say, I don't want to cry. I don't want to get so emotional, but just to be with the emotion, to feel it, to have it present like the tree. What's going on for you right now? What's happening? What are you noticing? What are you feeling in your body? What is it trying to tell you? What do you need? What is this saying about you? And holding ourselves accountable for what may be going on in our lives and helping each other find that out. Find the answers inside. We all have the answers for most of the issues that we're dealing with. But sometimes we just need to sit with it to find it. But if we're always running, going, 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 we're not going to find the answers necessarily. We're just escaping them. The other beauty is just having ownership of the stuff that we are dealing with, of our emotions, being able to control those and say, okay, well, now I realize this. This is really about when this happened way back when. And now it's happening again with this individual. Okay, what is that saying about me? And Or what's at risk if I do something about it? What's at risk to them? Action will always come as a consequence of these discussions. What can we do? It does take vulnerability. And it does take a willingness to be uncomfortable. Many of us don't like to sit in a chair, including me. I cry rarely and be in that uncomfort. And no wonder we were taught to get away from that uncomfort. Push it away. Don't be with it. No wonder I fear it. No wonder I will not open up because I was always told not to. So we have this conditioning for many of us to be quiet. Don't talk about it. Don't deal with it. This too shall pass. But it builds up. It builds up in how we live our life. If we don't work through things, we'll just keep on tripping over the same thing. If, for example, you lack confidence and you don't sit with that and say, well, why is it that I lack confidence? Emotionally, what goes on when I'm feeling unconfident? And if we don't examine that, we're probably going to repeat the same behaviors over and over again. 
I still have to catch myself in the moment. Like today I was delivering a workshop and I was going a bit quicker than normal and I had to stop (laughs) and take a deep breath in and exhale and say, what's going on here? What's happening? Why am I going so quickly? After that self-check-in, I slow down. Because if we go quick, we don't have to think. If we go do this, and then we do that, and then we do this, and then we read Facebook, and then we watch TV, and then we talk to somebody on the phone, and then we do some yard work, and then we do this. We are so busy, we can't possibly be. So being busy can also mean, what am I running away from? What am I running away from? Why is it so hard to just be? And if we can get really good at that and not fear it and take some time to reflect on certain emotions we might have in the moment and letting our body get into those emotions, crying, whatever it is, it's your body saying, you need to release something. Give it some time. There is more research being done on what happens if we don't do that. I don't think there's firm evidence out there of these things, but they do say that if you don't take time to deal with your emotions and release your emotions, it can build up into cancer, heart issues, because we keep on pushing things down, which weakens our immune system. Folks, Be like the tree. Live in the world of wonder. Look at what's surrounding you and just be in the moment. Don't overthink things. Just be with your emotion. Learn from your emotion. Accept your emotion. We all have them. We all deal with emotions differently. But don't run. Because something is up, and if you run from it, you will never know what's going on. Folks, thanks for listening.